Dave Rogers in with the free for about 15 metres out to the left of the post to open the scoring for Port Leisha. Onto the right boot, stroke the in, stroke her over the bar, and that's the opening score of the game for Port Leisha. Gray flying away with the ball and kicks a quick one inside to Ricky Maher. Ricky Maher wins the ball. He's a man got ahead of him, Kieran McAvoy. Up to go himself. Onto the right boot, Ricky Maher. That's a wonderful score from Ricky Maher. Had the confidence to go for him, popped it over the bar. Matthew Finley then with the free outside the semi circle. He's been absolutely superb on frees all year, one of the top scorers in the county. Can he get them? She's off the score sheet, five and a half minutes gone. In this opening half, kicks it in, kicks it well, kicks it straight over the bar. There's a point between the sides then, I don't think back within a point, just a five and a half minutes gone, a little bit more in this opening half. Here, wrong, strong run forward, put on into the path from Kelly in possession of the ball. He's a man outside him, over to him, to Mark Barry. Mark Barry on the left side, that's a wonderful score for Mark Barry. Popped in, popped over the bar. This man has great skill has come. And Barry comes away with the ball. And he has the skill, he has the speed as well. And he leaves Kieran McAvoy on the ground. And still going forward, Barry. Kicks along one inside. Kicks up inside. Take it the one way. Touch the ball. Brilliant save. What a save inside. Time, but he's been forced backwards. Give it back to Craig Rogers. This is great defending by Adempsis. Laid off into the far side of the field again to Paul Cahalan. His first taste of the action with 13 minutes gone. Goes for the score. What a score from Paul Cahalan, the captain of the side. That's real slash, Chris. Yeah, great score coming in from the terrace, Jack. He got a little bit of room on his left foot, which he wanted, and uh, took, took his opportunity very well. Good patient build up. Whilst there was also a very good tackling, you have to say, by Odemsis. Midfielder, Pierre Lillis, lays the ball off. Back outside again to David Finn. He back to Boyle. Boyle back to Rogers. Rogers going to go for a shot from 45 metres out. What a score from Craig Rogers. Put out all the messing, all the passing. Direct route over the bar. By Colin Finn, should I say. I was calling him David. That's the other brother. Back outside again. Kick back inside to Boyle. Boyle with the ball. 14 metres out, a little bit more, strokes it in and strokes it in over the bar. Lovely score from Colin Boyle, well worked, but a Dempsey should have had a ball clear. He's sauntering on forward, punches it off for Craig Rogers. Rogers with the ball, lays it back inside for Boyle again. Oh, this is uh, simple stuff from Port Leash. Boyle kicks it in and it's over the bar. That's a great score. Uh, two in a row for Conor Boyle. Two in a row, good link play there with Craig Rogers and that, and a very good score as he drifted towards the stand. Runs into Kieran Lillis. Lillis takes the ball off. Another mistake. Ball kicked inside. Running out to his Catalan. Breaks it over one hand. Ball falls inside for Ricky Marsh. Yard goal! Ricky Marsh, soccer style to a corner of the lip. And suddenly, Port Leisha are in total control, and it's mistakes by Adamsey just letting them down. Yeah, and it into Ricky Maher's path, and a super soccer finish by Ricky. Gareth Dillon coming forward with the ball. Gareth Dillon going for the score. Gareth Dillon with the score. And that's wonderful. Suddenly, they've upped the tempo of the game of Port Leash, and they're absolutely have uh, Adamsey's going backward. And he'll try and rally his troops now. Come soaring or up along the middle of the field. Still O'Leary, gone a long way, gone to the 45, goes to ground, punches the ball back inside, taken on the run, opportunity is there now, for the corner for Dan McCormick, ball outside to Michal Finley, Michal Finley, puts the ball over the bar, sadly needed a score for identity, they've worked it well from McCormick inside to Michal Finley over the bar. Mark Barry now will have, should clip over this uh, 14 metre free after good work by Dan McCormick. Mark Barry then, on the left boot, chips it in, chips it over the bar. Punching tackles come in, but getting away with the ball and flying it is Michal Finley. Finley the centre half forward, gone to the 45, gone a little bit farther. Saunders is inside him, onto the left boot. He's going to go for the score. Is this three in a row? If it's a score, it's a wonderful score. It's a marvellous score from Michal Finley. That's an absolutely superb Chris Conrad. Yeah, super. He's obviously, I suppose, uh, Machu maybe has taken on over in the scoring stakes this year, but. Um, but Michael Finlay has obviously been their main uh, talisman, main uh, scoring threat for a good 10 years now in the Dempsey's colours and two wonderful points from him here today again. The target inside but he's only 40 metres out, he's only to the left of the post, chips it in, chips it over the bar, one goal and eight to six points then. And we are into uh, five points between the sides and we've uh, little over, uh, little less than six minutes left in this opening half. Outside again then to Barry Kelly. Kelly has a man inside. Opportunity here for Mark Barry. Barry does way held up. Plays the cut along the end line. Puts the back of the in the middle. No! Oh, oh! And McCormick goes in. Wonderful play. And a brilliant goal goal for Dempsey. All forward. Quite taken by Barry Kelly again. He's a great man to run into defence. He is in pursuit. But Kelly's still going forward. Onto the right boot. Hits it in. Hits it over. Yeah. Hits it over the ball. Wonderful goal from Barry Kelly. He made it all.
one goal and eight to one goal and seven. When we finish here at half time straight to O'Connor Park and Tullamore for the Offaly final and the ball kicked over the bar by Paul Cahalan. That leaves two between the sides. One goal and nine to one goal and seven. Three steps up, chips the ball, chips it over the bar. So at half time here in the Moor Park in Port Leash, Port Leash had a champion's lead by three points. One goal and ten to one goal and seven. Let off there for Adensis. Up to go again. Kieran Willis breaks the ball down. Having a fine game in the middle of the field. Picked up by Craig Rogers. Benny Carroll. Benny skins one inside. Inside for Cahalan. Cahalan turns his man left. Right tries to go again. Back onto the left boot. Kicks it in. Over the bar. Lovely score from Craig Rogers. From Paul Cahalan. Long ball forward to Paul Cahalan. He's a man inside him. Chasing after the ball then. Ricky Mao, Nick Mao gets the handle, knocks the ball in, touch the bar, go, no! Off the post, go! Goal for Port Leisha. Ricky Mao to finish it, Conor Boyle was in there as well. Three chances they had, and the third chance got it through and over the line and rattled the net inside. Turns and twists, gives it back outside to Scott Lawless. Scott Lawless onto the right boot, brilliant block down by Peter O'Leary. Back inside to Scott Lawless again, lays it off to Lillis. Lillis on the left boot, Curtin Lillis all the ball. Obviously he would have gone back to cover the lane, couldn't get back to it. Ricky hit it off the crossbar first and then finished it at the third attempt. As the ball is kicked in by Graham Brody and kicked over the bar, now 45 metre free, Graham Brody on target and uh, Port Leash out in control now and it's hard to see where the scores are going to come from from uh, Dempsey's Chris. O'Hara, O'Hara, Cormac O'Hara, puts the ball back inside into the middle, picked up by David Holland. He leaves it inside to Conor Boyle. He'll fancy a shot from here, Conor Boyle. From 30 metres out, Conor Boyle puts it in over the bar. Great score, Conor Boyle. Yeah. Pulls his arm and uh, the free is given. Quickly taken by Conor Murdoch. Kicked on inside. Is there an opportunity here for Dempsey? In over the ball. Tipped in. Oh, hit the crossbar. Back outside again. It is Matthew Finley. Ball falls down. Chance is there for the stop. Brilliant shot inside. In there for Johnny Kelly. But he just couldn't finish it off. Locked inside. And the ball goes in and goes over the bar. Yeah, Matthew Finlay finally getting the score for... Uh... Matthew Finlay, content with a point, pops it in. Eight minutes left in the game. Eight points between the sides. In the corner for size. Good turnover by Rory Bracken. And the ball is with Matthew Finlay. Matthew Finlay to Barry Kelly. Barry Kelly in front of the post. Kicks it high. Barry Kelly kicks it very high. Do we need it? The referee is nodding at the young corner. It's over the bar. Barry Kelly just three points in a row for Adempsey. What a goal would do for them and maybe for the game. 23 minutes gone in this the second half. Seven between the sides. They're not giving up. Beside the field, first grab by Matthew Finley. Matthew turns with the ball and goes flying away. He's a man beside him. He's a man ahead of him. He gives it to the man beside him, Conor Murdoch. He goes forward, straight down along the middle. He's fouled. Let's him play on. To a dummy. Gary Dillon fell to the ground. Conor Murdoch goes for the score. If that's a score, it's a wonderful score. Four in a row for the Dempsey's. Let's go, Conor Murdoch. Yeah, super dummy solo on Garrett Dillon and stepped onto the 50 yard line outside of the boot by Conor Murdoch. And a super score, something that he's well capable of. He's had it in his locker, and obviously that's why he has suitors down in Australia. And all the way, just 27 minutes gone, three minutes left in the game. We'll be going back into Mullingar, we'll be going back into Tullamore as Matthew Finley gets this one. Or, sorry, Mark Barry, should I say, with the red boot, Mark Barry from the other side. Gets this one, pops it over the bar, Mark Barry. And uh, it's back to a six point game again. One goal in 12 to two goals in 15. He's replaced inside by Paul Cottle, long serving Paul. Up comes Matthew Finley to this one to take it down to five points. Matthew hits it well, hits it over the bar. Good score from Matthew Finley. And on, two on the far side of the field. Ball still going forward with the ball against Conor Dunphy. Dunphy back onto the right boot, strokes the ball in. He'd be happy with that if he can get a score. That's a great score from Conor Dunphy. Um, Caharelli out there who is uh, shared in all of those as the referee blows the full home whistle at a more park in Port Leash. Just quickly Chris, deserving winners and will the one to lynch to with some expectations again. Yeah they will obviously, you know, they slipped up last year against Moorfield who went on to win the Leinster Championship. That they are in